Good afternoon, everyone. Respected yeah. Namrata Ma'am, Rajesh Sir. I want to thank Mahipal Sir on the offset. I cannot be indebted enough to him for all the opportunities he provides us all. I am going to be starting my case. This is a grade 2 to 3 cataract of a, a lovely lady who is 75 years old who came for uh, the complaint of diminution of vision. So, we are going to be doing uh, topical phaco emulsification. Amma, just look at the light. So, Raghav, you have to center the. Yes, ma'am. Who is it? Put the pedal phaco. बस हम लाइट में देखो दोनों आंख खोलो सो राघव कैन यू सेंटर इट लेट ओके मेक इट मेक इट मेक मेक इट फॉरगेट इट मेक इट वी कैन डू इट लेटर I'm using some intracameral oculon. So, very nice initiation of uh, Rex's uh, Raga. Thank you, ma'am. I'm trying to attempt to make a 5.5 millimeter axis. Yes. I try to make a bimanual axis. I use the <laughs> dialer to just Settle the flap. So, I think uh, uh, Madam and Rajesh, you would agree that uh, with these kind of lenses, I think the surgical time has also reduced, and at the same time, uh, the chances of contamination with the loading and all this has become, has made our life more easy with these Hoya lenses. Absolutely, completely agree with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, and with these, I mean, we had some accidents with uh, every injector system, but with these, this injector system, um, I mean, touch wood, but I'm yet to have any accident and yet to see anybody uh, having any jerk or anything uh, as far as the IOL delivery is concerned. Then, Ra Raghav is getting nervous, Rajesh. That's <laughs> fine, ma'am. That's fine. <laughs> oh, Raghav is a confident surgeon. <laughs> so, I think everybody at CFS is a very well trained uh, under the guidance of Dr. Mahipal and they feel so confident. I think he's for his... He's making a debut. Deco, job. And very confident. Sure. No, no, uh, uh, I've seen uh, Raghav's uh, presentations and surgical videos, etc. They are fantastic. So, <laughs> he's a wonderful surgeon. I'm going with rec chop. My vacuum is at uh, 380 and uh, the power I'm using is at 35. Aspiration 36. Light me the coma. So, Rajesh, what has been your experience with the Vivenex Toric? I mean, uh, vis a vis the available Toric uh, in the world platform. So, do you feel they have been really, you know, uh, stable uh, inside the bag? Yeah, absolutely stable and uh, as such, uh, uh, I haven't done a comparative study, but uh, most of these lenses with uh, even other companies also, most of them are stable. But here in this case, I'm Quadrant. yet to see any rotation uh, 
of the lens. So not a single lens I have seen uh, that has rotated uh, in the post-op period. So the rotational stability is absolutely perfect. There's no doubt about it. These lenses, uh, because of the good adhesiveness, again, the YAG requirement is absolutely dismal. There's, you don't require any YAG, so that can also keep the lens in uh, the same position. The ELP will not change at all uh, if you don't disturb the capsule. Then uh, the PCO rates are uh, absolutely negligible. And glistenings are also not glistenings there. are not there. The the dysphotopsia also is uh, lesser. Uh, with all that roughened, uh, you know, the square edge area also is rough. Uh, the textured uh, square edge. So all these things are there with, uh, with this uh, Vivinex lens. Um, I mean, it is definitely a wonderful thing. It is definitely a wonderful lens to use in in your patient, in in a patient to whom you know well, in a patient with whom you have to keep following up for years, so that the patient. I mean, the basic idea is that the patient should not have any complaint, and uh, I, I guess uh, this uh, lens is delivering what it is promising so uh, and i think during uh, when you're implanting these lenses once it opens inside the bag you know the techiness speaks of itself it's difficult to rotate these toric lenses once it yeah. goes inside the bag it's really difficult to rotate and get it to the uh, you know the required position so that Absolute. that speaks Absolutely. of you know the roughened uh, the haptics yeah. are you know getting so much adhered yeah. that it's difficult to even rotate them during the even surgery. the even the haptic doesn't get uh, attached to each other the two haptics or the haptic doesn't get uh, get stuck to the optic all these things are there once the uh, lens has fully unfolded uh, with your if you are uh, doing uh, irrigation aspiration then um, uh, the lens doesn't rotate at all so right. that uh, you know some of the lenses they rotate a little bit when you are doing uh, uh, ia aggressively so so that also shows that uh, I mean, the stability of the lens is quite quite good and uh, and most importantly you know i have seen a couple of uh, life surgeries wherein while injecting the lens people uh, had a pc tear or somebody had a bad hemorrhage uh, all these things are absolutely uh, gone i mean the, the they are not there if you are using this uh, multi cert injector system. So, I mean, when you are doing a cataract surgery, uh, you have to think about two things. One is the surgeon's comfort, surgeon's ease, and uh, the second is patient's benefit. So, both the things are there. I mean, it's good for the surgeon, it's good for the patient. So, it's a win win situation for both. So I think so that's you, what uh, I think you all will congratulate Raghav so wonderfully. I mean, he has gone through all this. Wonderful, wonderful. Excellent. We can yeah. see, and we the, can see the lens. wonderful surgery yeah. that uh, Raghav has shown, and in such a short time. And the level of confidence. And you can see, I made yeah. a I made a heart shaped axis. Just to thank you all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> every day is a Valentine's Day for you, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use the uh, Hoya Vivinex, and I'm using the a multi sort system to inject the IOL. See how easily he could yes. uh, yeah, yeah. push the tip of the cartridge inside and then uh, the lens delivers well in the bag. And the wound is respected. There is no distortion. Yeah, wound. no wound distortion at all. No jerkiness, you know, while inserting. No jerk. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, the, so that, that's what I said that, you know, when you're doing a surgery, uh, the surgery should be such that the surgeon should also be happy and the patient should also be happy. And uh, with this injector system, with this lens, I guess uh, both the things uh, are there. So I think we must all congratulate uh, Raghav. You absolutely really deserve. Thank you, sir. Kudos. Congratulations. Congratulations, Raghav, for a great Thank surgery. you, ma'am. Thank yeah, you, sir. Yeah. Very well done, Raghav. Congratulations, Raga. Thank Wonderful you so much, surgery. Sir. Thank you. So the lens centers well, remains in the bag. So
I think now Lightning we just have to hydrate the wound and that yes. will be the yeah, yes. conclusion yes. of the session. Do you put uh, moxifloxacin in rather? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. As a routine, for in all cases, we do give intracameral moxifloxacin so at the end of the surgery. I must congratulate the entire staff of CFS. They've been so nice.